everyone, my name is Xander. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are back with more Amphibia. I am super. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, my shirt? Yeah, my Team Sasha shirt, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Look, now I know Sasha has done some things that maybe aren't the best, but I mean, that doesn't mean Sasha's a be- Oh, well. Sasha Redemption Arc! Let's go! Team Sasha Redemption! <laughs> no, but seriously, I have the Sasha shirt and Anne. I swear to God, I have them both. I am not just Team Sasha. But yet, y'all, I like the design of the green. It looks classy. <laughs> it's a little more rebel-y. But yeah, I bought both of the uh, Amphibia merch. I uh, gotta support my show, The Frog King Met, you know, no big deal. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm super excited to watch this episode. We just kind of got introduced to um, Marcy last episode, which is so exciting. I am absolutely jazzed to continue watching Amphibia, learn more about Marcy, things like that, and of course, Utopia. So this is going to be a very awesome episode. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Uh, please remember, if you like these videos, to subscribe, all that fun jazz. And of course, check out my Patreon page. You guys can watch the timer reactions over there as well. It's super fun and helps support my channel. But without further ado, let's get started. Oh. Best Beetle Burgers in all of Utopia. What's that? This is my journal. I like jotting down theories and observations. <laughs> and have you been keeping a journal too? Look guys, I'm a stroll wrist. That's our Anne. Can you imagine if Marcy got stuck with us instead of Anne? We'd be set for life! Okay, Polly! What the hell? Look out! Someone's trying to kill us! No, no, it's fine. It's just a message from the king. Oh, oh, correction. It's a puzzle gram from the king. Oh. Wow. He's basically hitting clues around the city, and when I click them all, I get a message. Oh, it's so fun! Yeah. Interesting. Come on, Polly. This may be our most exciting adventure yet. Hey, thanks for coming in. Would you like to join our customer loyalty program? You can get free gifts. Gifts? Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. All the people and free stuff. Marcy's always been the smart one in our group. I've always just felt kind of dumb around her. What? Shh, she'll hear you. Sorry. Well, hey, maybe if you can solve the King's Puzzle Grand before Marcy, it'll prove you're just as smart as she is. Mission, prove I'm not a dum-dum? I mean, you're not a dum-dum, but look. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. It's actual this. coral. So, one eye open and one closed. Hmm. What if we aren't supposed to look at the trees? What if we're supposed to listen to them? Boy! Hurry! Oh. So that's the first part of the message. Brilliant! Oh. Huh! Okay. So the next clue is. Oh! I recognize this! Come on, gang! Let's motor! Oh! Well, that was fast. Goblin! Come on, girl! Goblin, get down from there! Don't worry, I got you! Thanks, lady! No worries! I actually have one just like that back home. Fill with less legs. And come on! Oh! Gotta go! Don't let See? that See? Catch you later! And you are, you are useful and smart. You can solve the problem right away. Let me take this one, Mormar. Okay. Hmm. You'll never solve me. That was terrifying. What the hell? Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom, Barry. Can you at least leave the map? Hey, can I see your crossbow arm? Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> Trust those two being alone together. Hey, wanna solve a puzzle? Ooh, looks like a juicy one. Oh, some bitch, dear. The name's Doris. Anne. What if she's like a spy? We can't just show a random person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on. How many some do you have? Oh! oh. Hmm. I wonder if. Here. 
Bring oh, me. me. <gasps> Only one clue left to go. Well, Justin's upset about what Buster said. He should just tell him something. And so Marcy figured out the second puzzle. The puzzle. Me. Oh, oh, we're going oh. in the bridge. Let me with you. Oh, and look, there's 987 more lunches, and we get a free suit of armor. <sighs> Oh, God, you could have bought one already for those prices. Whoa. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I made a few suggestions on how to increase the weight limit. Ooh, I kind of, like, named it after me. Now, come on, let's see where this oh! table fits in. Okay, so she designed a bridge. That doesn't mean we stop. Yeah, okay. Why are you oh. I think I need to move along. Oh, okay, just holler if you need something. And you're good at other things. See how many you helped so many people today, girl. Don't be down. I'm dirty. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Something got you down, Ava? Have you ever had a friend who's so smart they make you feel dumb? Honey, this is Newtopia. Everyone here is a genius. And then there's me with my dumb old natural cart. What? Cardi, don't say that. You're an independent businesswoman. You've got to go and... home. Oh, aren't you a sweet one? You want to know my trick? Fake it till you make it. If you act like you're smart, everyone assumes you are. Hey, Anne, Marcy and I are stumped. Get over here. Hmm. Okay. Easy. Reactor? So, a triangle has three sides, right? Three rhymes with uh, tea. You brew tea with water. And there's water in uh, the sewer. We uh, have to turn it. Oh, boy. Speak up the table. Here comes one of my apartments. Oh. 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 What do you guys believe that in addition to eating a lot of meat, a lot of meat, Okay, well, that didn't quite work the way we wanted it to. Don't worry, kiddo. I got you. Okay. Oh, no. No. Anne's already sad because Mercy's so smart she makes her feel dumb. Screw it! What? Anne, is that true? I don't know. Maybe? I'm jealous of you! Huh? What for? Yeah, what for? Keep it along with you. Three people you met today just risked their lives to save you. <laughs> the plan is you're adopted, you and would do anything for you. Oh. Yeah, sure, I'm good at solving puzzles and calculating the check, but you're amazing at making connections. Me? I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. Oh, honey. Me too. Except I'm not good at any of the things that either of you are good at. The symbol! It's a natural! It's great! Back to that play! <gasps> oh! Yeah, the message is, bring me the planters. Oh, guys, we've been summoned! It took them like three days to solve the puzzle. He's been waiting three days. So you guys want to be natural to that alligator? <laughs> Just look how happy it makes him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first, let us talk about scavenger hunt. Um, number one, I love our first impression with the king. Uh, mainly because I liked his scavenger hunt his riddle of sorts i generally it gives us this first impression especially off of his last one we got with the chess piece and he's like good things are falling into play or whatever then when he sends a goofy little riddle it kind of it puts me back in this odd middle where i don't know how to feel about him yet not knowing him i don't know how to feel because he was very ominous there when no one was around him. But yet he sends riddles and goofiness. And Marcy still vouches for him too. And they seem to, as we kind of go through the town, 
seems like they've really listened to Marcy's ideas and are very open to her thoughts and opinions, which if this guy was like a dictator, he wouldn't be open to it, right? I mean, we even saw how uh, Sasha was. Like, he wasn't open to it at first, but then Sasha kind of proved herself and he was like, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do some things. So it's interesting how kind of Sasha and Marcy kind of ended up with like a, a second person, basically a, a duo of sorts, kind of opposite polar things. And then we have Anne in the middle who ended up with the planters because as we saw, she's good with people. She's good at forming those connections, um, getting personal, helping others. She's very, honestly, she actually is selfless, even if she's a little selfish at times. Overall, she's a very selfless person. She'll literally do anything to help somebody. So I like this. It helps us understand that, of course, not everyone is going to be good at everything. You may not feel as smart as another friend. Like maybe they've done better on a test than you every time and you just don't get it. And they help you, but you just still can't. That's okay. Like you don't have to compare yourself to your friends. Everybody is unique and that's what makes us so special. We all can help each other on things that maybe we are not as strongly suited for. And this episode really helped uh, cement that in. And really kind of hit home with it. And of course, I get to see more of Marcy. She's adorable. Just a little button. I love her, her quirkiness. Her like, oh, of course. Like, she's just a sweetie. And her and the her and Spring in that moment where he's like, can I see your crossbones? She's like, I don't see why not. <laughs> it's so just ridiculous. So I definitely love that we got to spend some more time with Marcy, understand and see more of Newtopia and see just how much she has impacted this town. It's kind of crazy. And she's a statue. Like, okay, girl, get yourself a statue. Like, wow. <laughs> so an absolutely fantastic episode. Uh, really like Scavenger Hunt a lot. Whoa, God, it's beautiful. I love all the coral wow. they use. May I present to you Andreas Leviathan, Lord of Amphibia, peacekeeper of a thousand years and the first of his name. No, that's king size. Whoa, he's huge. Hello, family. Hi. Brilliant. This is pleasant. <gasps> it's so good to finally meet you. Oh. Dear King Andreas, just once, it would be nice if you followed proper castle etiquette. Oh. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Getting you girls back this is home interesting. safe and safe. Yes, please, thank you. Alas, without the music box, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Music box? Marcy doesn't have it. Huh. And, well, I assume you don't have it either. Oh, uh, actually, I do have the box. Well, I don't have it, have it. Hop up left it with some contacts to see what they could learn about it. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. Uh-oh. Hmm, how uh -huh. peculiar. Marcy, didn't you say the gems were colored? Look here, they're... Ooh. Hey, you're right! I never actually noticed that. This uh, will require further study in the deepest of our archives. Yeah, I think they're all enchanted with the powers. Let us go forth and enjoy the sights of Newtopia. The Royal Credit Card! It will grant you access to do anything in Newtopia. Uh -huh. Be safe with this now. Water can waste for less. Whoa! Oh. You get to explore Newtopia with unlimited money? This is a dream come true. Onward, family! Yeah. Time to see Newtopia! Damn! What do you mean nobody wants to see Newtopia? Not happening. Probably happy. Hi. Yeah, probably. Right? Sorry, dude. The only thing I'm looking for is that gift basket. I could take the card and. Break what? Under no circumstances are you to take that card outside of this hotel. Hmm. No, 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 no. He didn't say anything about using it inside the hotel. Four years of Utopia University and not enough student debt for this. Oh, hi there. Fellow the bell hop at your service. Got the rest of your bags here. 
<clears throat> How about a tip? Oh, sure. If you were to do one thing in the hotel for fun, what would it be? Well, I've never gone, but everyone says the view from the top of the indoor fair spell will change your life. Oh. Great. Thanks for the tip. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. You lovely bellhop. The Ferris wheel. That's I'm gonna pretty. Save you for later. Excuse me. Are you winking at the Ferris wheel? Yes, and I wink, so deal with it. Ah! Very good, sir. Nope. Nope. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Budgie dog. Man. Super Saiyan. Hey, what am I at? <laughs> oh. Why, please? Um, these are pretty strong. Five, I say. Bop, bop, bop. Wow. Oh, oh no. the first night and then you have the whole next day and you're feeling good it's just that simple <laughs> so the planters check in um and let me double check i believe that had um a mabel's voice actress in it she was the bellhop girl doo, 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 doo. mabel's voice actress from gravity falls um, which I really adore her, and I feel like hearing her in a less extreme form was nice. Because when she voices Mabel, it's very like, hello! This, like, much more high energy. So it was nice to hear this, like, oh, hey. Yeah, I mean, life is okay. It was nice to hear that range of vocal tones that she does have. Because uh, her voice is very unique, so it's very... It's very recognizable, but not in, like, a bad way. I really do like it. Uh, there's so much personality in the way she talks. So it was such a pleasure to get to hear her. Um, along with that, <laughs> it was nice to have kind of a spring episode. I feel like that's not something we've really had. So getting to kind of, like, hang out with Sprig, see him be, like, a kid, a reckless kid, was fun. Um, I liked the coffee scene where he was just like, I'm a time lord. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> like, dude is tripping out of his mind. <laughs> but it was hilarious. I liked that it came back later that <laughs> he just had the coffee again and just go, 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 go. But I think... A lot of people have had that experience where 
maybe a parent gave them a credit card and they're like, you can buy like this, but only this. Maybe they bought like an extra ice cream. Um, I don't know that feeling. I've just seen a bunch of my other friends experience it. My parents would never, ever have trusted me or ever handed me their credit card and been like, you can get this. They'd always go get cash and be like, here's the cash. You can't spend more than what I gave you. It's not possible. Yeah, I don't know. Um, kudos to the parents that do trust their children about like management. Kudos to them, because that was not my family. <laughs> Sometimes I wish it was, but at the same time, I don't know if I could have handled the responsibility either. <laughs> so, meh. <laughs> uh, but overall, it was really nice. Um, yeah, and minimum wage, man, sucks. I think... There's a lot of 20-something-year-olds I can relate. Like, I went to school, I wasted all this money, and now this is what I'm doing with my degree. I don't need a degree to do this job, but I can't get the job I want because I need eight years of experience to get into this field. And how am I supposed to get eight years of experience? Ah! <laughs> Doesn't make much sense. And then there's jobs like being a social worker and stuff that you have to go for four to six years to be able to be a social worker and you get paid like thirty to forty thousand dollars a year. At most you will ever make is sixty thousand. I don't think that's worth I don't think that is worth spending all all of your money on. Like literally your job what you pay is like insanity. It's not good. It doesn't make sense. American society doesn't make sense. Enough of that rant, though. But yeah, uh, overall, super fun episode. I really enjoyed it. It was nice to see Marcy. Um, also, um, talking a bit more on the king. I like that we got to see the king. He's trying to like be cool with like Marcy and stuff. It was definitely enjoyable to understand that the king doesn't seem threatening. And even Lady Olivia, I think that's her name was like, sir, could you ever please behave yourself, like, properly? So it seems like Marcy's had a bit of an effect on him. And I hope he's that wholesome, nice guy that he appears to be. I'ma feel real betrayed if he's not, so. Don't know. I'm a little nervous about it, but very excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy Amphibia. It's an awesome show. Really incredibly crafted. I think there's a lot of underlying things waiting to burst out. Um, and Matt, I have not forgotten about that robot that was following us. I am still freaked out. I know it's been a few episodes, but I remember the robot and I'm scared of the robot. I don't feel safe till we see the robot again. And then I don't think I'll feel safe either. <laughs> Along with that, though, we have the uh, hints at the music box again. Now that the colors are gone for the gems, the girls have had their eyes kind of lighting up blue-green. I don't think we've seen Sasha's eyes light up yet. I might be wrong. So there's a lot of stuff, like simmering in the background of the show, which I love. I love having things in the background just waiting to, like, pop back up again. It's fun. It keeps us on edge as viewers. So I am so hyped. Um, Amphibia has been great. And now that Owl House is done, it's nice to be able to kind of just focus on Amphibia and just watch Amphibia. So super hyped, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please remember to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs>